Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another one of my Mythic Mobs tutorials. Today we are going to be covering a very simple yet very, very effective mechanic. Or not mechanic, but uh, part of the plugin, and it is mob heads. Or player heads, whatever you want to call it. Item heads, doesn't even matter. It's all the same. So, before we get started, if you are interested in giveaways, events, getting along, you know, talking to the community, learning new stuff, make sure to hop on down into my Discord channel. Link will be in the description below. As there's always a ton of really fun and really informative stuff going on in my Discord server. Now let's, uh, before I go ahead and finish up getting started here, make sure to, you know, make sure to subscribe for more future videos on the way. And now let's go ahead and get started. So, as always, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, we're gonna get into our Mythic Mobs folder here. And you're gonna need two things. You're gonna need a mob file and you're gonna need an items file. So we're gonna go into the mobs. And here I already made a file called headmob.yml. So here we're gonna go ahead and type out a generic, excuse me, a generic mob. Okay, so now that I have my generic mob made, uh, we're just, we're actually gonna stop here and we are going to go into our items file now. So next, you need to have an item head or whatever you wanna call it, .yml. So, now that I've got my item YML opened, my item file, we're gonna go ahead and... Actually, we're not even gonna start that yet. We're gonna go ahead and find a head that we wanna use first. So, what I recommend doing is going to minecraft-heads.com. Link will, for that will be in the description. However, if you don't look down there, you can always just type in Minecraft heads. And it'll be the very first one here. Um, you're just gonna go ahead and click on that. It's gonna take it a minute. This website's pretty slow, but it's a very quality website. And what's really cool is they have player heads, custom heads, and data packs now, if you ever feel like messing with that. But we are not going to, so we are actually just going to go ahead and click on custom heads. Next, we're going to find one that we want to use. If you're thinking of something themed or specific, you can always look over here in the dictionary, as well as categories. Or you can just type in something up here, such as like fire or something. But we're just gonna go ahead and pick something simple off the front here. Uh, I like this, Gas Minion X. There's a lot of Hypixel going on right now, apparently. Wow, whole front page is Hypixel stuff. But anyway, so we're gonna go do Gas Minion X, and we're gonna scroll down. You're gonna find Minecraft URL and value. We need this whole line of code here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna click copy. We're gonna click it twice just to make sure. Now we're gonna go back to our items file. So we're gonna type in guest head ID equals, or not equals, uh, ID is player head. Next, you can type in your other stuff like display name if you want to, you know, guest head, I guess. Um, same with your lore if you want, you add a lore down below, yada yada. Then we are going to add our options, and this is where we're going to get our skin. So we're going to type in skin texture, and then we're going to copy and paste that entire line of code that we saw. Once we do, we're going to go ahead and hit save. And just to make sure it's working, we're going to go back to our server, and we're going to reload. Okay, so now if we type in Mythic mobs, items, get, gas head. There it is. It's not gonna let us play, so by default, that's just a mythic mob things. Mythic mobs thing. But as you can see, here it is, and that's, oh, that's creepy looking. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that at all. Okay, so, and as you can see, it's got our little gas head display, as well as a little bar below it, because we added an empty line of lore. But, so now you have your head, and of course you can have it as a player skull if you want, like, you know, equipment, you can add attributes to it, like health, armor, whatever you want to do, that's entirely up to you. All you have to do is look in the attributes section of the manual and it will work for gas heads just like it will, or not gas, it'll work for player heads just as it will any other, uh, you know, equipment like pants, chest, legs, whatever. So, um, next, equipping it to our mob. So what we're gonna wanna do here is we're gonna have five equipment slots. Well, technically six, but 
Uh, the one we're going to want to worry about is the head. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in dash. And we need to type in our item name. This one. So we have it set as ghast head. So we're going to copy that. Paste here. Press colon, which is to the right of L. And then we're going to type in four. We There are six different equipment slots. Uh, six is offhand. No, sorry, wait, did I say that right? Sorry, no. There's, yeah, there's six. So five is offhand, four is head, three is chest, two is legs, one is feet, and then zero is main hand. But since it's a head, we're only gonna put it on four. So we're gonna go ahead and, uh, we're gonna go ahead and save, and we're gonna reload. And we're gonna do MMM spawn head mod. And <laughs> is that freaking creepy or what? Why does my zombie feel like he's more textured than normal? Oh. Anyway, that's pretty much the tutorial. So if you guys like that, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, you know, make sure to subscribe for more future content. I will be having tons more tutorials on the way as this plugin is updating far faster than I can even make tutorials for. Isn't that right? Yeah, he agrees. He's looking right at me. See, you see that head nod right there? He just nodded his head in agreement. So thank you guys so much for watching and I can't wait to see what you come up with in the future.